have got some bad news. If we go ahead and hop into Rome and check the inside of our base, we have already been raided within like 24 hours of TNT enabling. And if I actually go ahead and further down, they ruined our nether ward farm and they actually got into both of our cactus boxes as well, which puts a little bit of a damper into the season's plans. But never fear, Heroic also has some good news. But before we actually get into that, the way that we actually breach is by border righted, which if you guys have been playing at this map in actually previous seasons of Complex, this is literally the only way that anybody ever gets raided is alongside the border. Because obviously, regens, there's no water on the other side, they don't regen alongside the border, and it basically makes it so they can just go through like three regens, get behind the base shell, and go straight right into your spawner boxes. And well, our entire base for that matter. But I'm really not too worried about it. I have mentioned in the last episode that we are not placing this season for F-top value. We lost like 1,000 slime spawners or something, which is like super cheap. So we essentially lost nothing. They just wasted TNT. But now here on the bright side, I also do have some good news as well. I am sick and tired of getting left shot and right shot, so I've got a solution to this. If we check it out, we are setting up a brand new base, a four-sided base in the middle of nowhere, and this is all that we have done so far. So if I actually go ahead and turn on my schematic here, you guys can see it is a four-sided base, and it is literally just straight filters, 24 filters to be exact. We have six chunks of filters, four filters per chunk, and then straight walls after that. It's gonna take a ton of time and effort and money, but at least we won't get left shot or right shot anymore. So now here at the bottom, we do have extended rev layers set up. I believe we have like 30 to 40 or so. We've got a cactus box and then we'll do more rev layers in between. We've got another box set up. Once again, more rev layers. And then finally, our top box, which will be for spawners and stuff like that. But now enough of the yapping. This base is not going to build itself. Let's get straight to work. It is now hours later and we are still working on the filters. Finally, finally, bro. It is like 11 o'clock at night. I've been begging for my faction to hop on and help the base. And now we currently have nine people online in call working and getting some base work done. We actually hadn't turned off the schematic. I believe we have like five chunks of filters roughly laid out. And I want to go ahead and get all six chunks of filters completely finished tonight. And then we'll go ahead and gen the straight walls tomorrow because we do have it all chunk busted and ready to go ahead and gen them. We literally just need the trays done and then water. And then, of course, add the lava on top. But then in between the boxes, the rev layers should be finished as well. And they are a bunch of rev layers there. Then we have like our snow golem box, more rev layers, and then our cactus box all the way at the bottom. And then the extended revs. So we're sitting good as of right now. Nobody has found us making this yet, or at least I hope not, which is kind of why I want to get all all these gen in here tonight just in case somebody finds it overnight and also not to mention shout out to the new boys that literally just joined the faction i just went through applications for my start of the world video we added like 10 new players to the roster and they're all actually right now in call helping with base work right off the bat so that's a good way to make a first impression but now i'm gonna go ahead and take another quick cut hopefully get all the trays finished and then watered and then i'll bring us back when we are starting to finally go ahead and gen well it is now the next morning and as you guys can see we have started to finally gen in the filters and i wanted to go ahead and finish up all the filters last night and then do the flat walls today. But our shard ended up going down for like over an hour straight at midnight. So I said, screw it, I logged off, okay? But now we're back online this morning. Go ahead and finish these all up. So I wanna go ahead and see if we can get this entire base up in less than 24 hours, which would actually be pretty huge, especially for a four-sided base this big. We have still not done anything to the inside of the base. Like our boxes are completely empty. So once the filters are done, then we'll probably go ahead and start setting up like the wart farm. I don't know if we wanna do cactus again or not. And then of course, we'll have our XP grinders up here right away as well. We are starting to slowly run out of money, so I might have to do a couple of deals for in-game money. Just to go ahead and finish this entire base up. And also Chunk Buster, because we don't even have near enough. We have like half the buffer Chunk Busted. But yeah, either way, back to work. The base is finally completed. If we go ahead and actually check it out, we've got six chunks of filters, which in total, I believe, counts like 24 filters or so, which means they have to backstack 24 different regens, which is pretty solid. And then we've got two chunks of wraps, and then four chunks of straight walls after that. And I actually did go ahead and add a chunk of sand walls just in case an enemy faction tries to rev us or worm us even though we do have a ton of reverse layers and now it's time to actually go ahead and get going on the inside if we check it out i'm gonna go ahead and start building the xp grinder if i turn on the schematic we're using an old cope grinder from like a couple seasons ago so you have four different spawner areas and they actually float around like in a square and it's like piston activated so if you want all the zombies to go to one grinder you can have it if you want them to go to two grinders you can have it or if you want them to split up into four different grinders it works like that as 
well so i'm gonna go ahead and start working on that and i believe the faction did go ahead and set up a snow golem and nether war farm yeah okay they're working on it right now so that is all set up and i can guarantee the faction has not done cactus oh my goodness we actually have like barely any but i mean still it's progress so that's what i like to see let's actually go ahead and tp on inside and get underway with this grinder i'm not gonna lie the faction activity is kind of dying a little bit i've realized over the past couple seasons that i've been leading if you don't have like spawners and value and stuff like that up to grind the faction's gonna log off they're not gonna be active which is the exact opposite of what i want so slowly but surely i'm gonna go ahead and start working on this and i'll bring you guys right back hopefully it doesn't take too long and hopefully i'm finished here in a second okay well i lied this grinder system doesn't have like the redstone set up to automatically go around in a square i got the wrong schematic but either way it will be efficient enough because we have four different spots to go ahead and play spawners to grind and we have like a dub of zombies and a couple stacks of skeletons in my vault and all we gotta do to actually go ahead and grind is literally like get rid of the lava and then you just have to hit them one time with fire aspect and they'll automatically die and drop experience but now let's actually go ahead and tp on over to our spawn vault where all of our spawners are stored in our unraidable little vault underground and in this chest should be our zombies and then here is our skeletons okay good nobody from the faction's taking them let's actually go ahead and take out a full inventory of zombies f warp xp go ahead and start placing these down so the faction can get back to grinding xp making some god sets and stuff like that now i probably should want to go ahead and do like these two corner boxes maybe to start off until we have a ton of zombies but yeah i'll bring you guys back when everything is placed we have officially got two of the grinders up and running about like half and half a decent amount in each spot that actually puts us at f top 33 with nearly 20 million dollars of value just over 3,000 zombie spawners which i'm not gonna lie we'll probably just go ahead and buy more zombies skeletons and slime spawners as the season continues because we don't really care about anything else now with this base you guys are probably questioning like we don't have any buffer counters since it is a four-sided base which i think we'll probably go ahead and just use like the blueprint 360 so we check out reading materials 360 buffer counter cannon i know a lot of people use this i usually don't prefer doing it but i don't want to build four separate buffer counters in each corner we'll probably start off because we do go on timer once we place one i think maybe like two chunks away so like right here we'll set up a 360 so we'll have to go through like three or four chunks of regens and then we'll do one on the other side and then slowly but surely go ahead and add up to four on each corner of the base and like i mentioned they are 360 so we can literally use any of them to shoot any direction which would be super nice now the only thing is i am gonna have to chunk bust a couple chunks of regens on each side and i don't really know how big those counters are see length 29 blocks with 20 blocks so either way i think we have to chunk bust like close to a two by chunk area and then wherever we don't have the box set up we'll probably have to regen and regens which is gonna suck i'm not gonna lie so i'll probably go ahead and get started on that here tonight still since we did place a little bit of value just in case anybody does attempt us like i mentioned it is a casual season i really don't care if we get raided i just want to farm gc and just like that the one buffer counter box is done and now honestly since they are 360 like i said you should only need like two of them the other one i'll probably do will be like over here in this corner pointing this way but if i go ahead and show you guys this is where we'll have the adjust set up like the y adjust because the barrel will be right here like this three by three right here and the blueprint is slowly placing itself in so i practically have to go afk here for the next 40 minutes until the blueprint is finished which it'll be then like one o'clock in the morning so i'll try to go ahead and finish this one and then finish the other one so our base is now fully protected and i still don't even think anybody's found it yet and i just realized my coordinates are on gotta edit that out as well oh my goodness bro okay so now for the next part of this video i want to go ahead and do a little bit of pvp in the arcade because i never have it's been a thing for like three or four seasons it's a massive 1v1 arena and i've never pvp there before the only requirement is you have to bring at least one season also obviously i'm gonna bring a sharpness six axe so i actually go ahead and throw a runic obstruction on there and then my set is still the tier four kit a lot of people pvp like prot six or prot five so hopefully i can tax a prot six set the only thing is a lot of people cheat on the server so i'm probably gonna go ahead and grab a full loadout grab a totem grab everything that i need and then we'll tp on over to the arcade see if anybody's online there's currently 305 people on the faction network if not maybe i have to call out a couple of people for a 1v1 wait hold on actually there's people fighting in war zone straight sideways of my derp let me go ahead and actually turn on my coordinates so i know they're like a couple hundred blocks away from my derp 300 blocks away from my derp i gotta go straight north okay i'm going to third party that because i completely forgot with arcade i can't enter into the arcade because we're not top 50 on pvp top and uh, apparently our faction has been dying an insane amount because we're currently at negative eight points and top 15 is like 30 or above so i'm gonna have to get rostered to somebody else's faction if i want to go ahead and do some arcade pvp but i kind of want to third party this little fight that's going on there's like four different factions there and there's supposedly no allies this season let's see how long that actually lasts okay we see cnrx okay and someone else over there they've got seasonals on 
bottom. Where else is everyone? Who is that? Oh, they got arcade kids, fusion kids. Okay, they're fighting over there. I got whoever that is. I got you, bro. This isn't allying. It's selective targeting. I got you, bro. Oh, he's popping the strength. Okay. I was trying to help whoever that was, bro. Did he just dip on me? Wait, CNRX, let's run a drill. I want this kid. I want this kid. Oh, he's low. He's low. He's low. He's literally at 2 HP, bro. He's on the arcade kid. Where's everyone else? Oh, he, wait. He got Cupid boots on him. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Nah, you thought. You thought, buddy. You thought. You thought. Oh, my God. I got just absolute comboed. Holy, they're using everything on me. The Cupid boots and the shovel. Jeez Louise, bro. Oh, he's getting rocked. He's getting rocked. Wait, is it 60 at 3.5? Yo! Why are both these kids on me? Why are all the why are they all on me? I'm right outside my dirt, bro. I wish I had my shovel. They were so dead if I have my shovel. Oh, they are outside my trap. Please dive me. I beg of you. What are you doing, buddy? Oh, you are on your own. Where are you going? Come on. Wait, you're just running towards my trap? You're that's literally my trap. Where are you running? Oh, wait, bro, if I had my shovel... Hello, hello, Haruk. Bro, I have him so close. I know, I'm gonna... Sh I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait, I have switchers? I have switchers, hold on. Uh, honestly, I have an idea. I'm gonna sw They don't know about my trap back here. Oh, wait. I won. Oh, my God. Nisali. Bro, he's actually got, like, a set on him. He's got impacts and everything. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, I see, I, I, I'm coming. I need you to drop down and just... It's full attack. Yeah, I tagged we'll him. I tagged him. Oh mine. What? How oh, do you no. how, how do you how do you break how do you go through it? I I let me do a kit real quick, then I can. Oh, okay. I have him back down. Okay, well he's in. He's he's deep. I can I can switch. Uh, give me give me a sec. I'm gonna spooky shove him. You ready? Give me a switcher. Give me a switcher. I can just switcher him. Oh uh, uh, yeah, I can. Hold on. Uh, c come over here. You ready? I'm ready. Torn, move, move. Okay, he's in. I got him. He's in. Don't break the fence gate. Don't break the fence gate, Torn. All right, he's dead. I'm in between. I see a sugar babes kid. I'm on the sugar babes kid. What? What are you next to? I'm on the red globe. All right, go. Yep, I see you. Wait, no, that's them. I, I see. There's, that's him. Too. That's Torn. I'm, uh, right I'm out number here. So yeah, let's go, Torn. Let's go, Torn. They're probably gonna target you. That's fine. I'm targeting this Dude, black jack. Get on Lackshack, he's got Vulture Sword. There's a guy in behind you that me and Torn are whooping up. What a pussy, he's running to his base, huh? Yeah, they're just gonna try to trap. Yeah, he's running back. So yeah, I'm not going close, don't trap. go close. Oh, he's coming. He's a bitch. He just poisoned. Oh my god. I hate that shit, bro. Oh, his friend's here too. I'm still gonna run him. I just popped him, I just popped him, I just popped him. Get his ass. No torn. Don't fall too back. They have, they have dead, dead. There's Where your Volta you sword back. God is that? Now to celebrate the fact that we got this entire base done in like a day or two, I have got five of the Inferno crate keys to open because realistically on Star of the World, I got absolutely screwed. I got nothing good besides this tier four axe. And then all I've got is a tier two chest plate and I got like pickaxes, hoes, and a bunch of straight garbage. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can get a full set as well as I will get some spawners. Now I don't know if I wanna sell the spawners or maybe trade them off like zombies or slimes or something. We're actually getting a sword. Okay, it's brand new. We haven't got a sword yet. It goes up to 10 tiers and we got a tier three. Okay, I will take the reset vault slot. We're hoping for something higher tier. We will definitely take like the helmet. I think the helmet's decent. We got a crossbow. We are getting some spawners. But I think the crossbow is actually currently bugged and we got a tier two. Whenever you hit someone with an arrow, it was making you like float. So it's like impossible to kite. But it has a 20% chance to curse you for six seconds. Okay, but what else are we going to get? Let's get leggings and we got a bro, a shovel. Are you joking? And a tier one shovel, bro. I swear, I have the worst luck with Krakies now. Or a better backpack. Okay, helmet. I don't have a helmet yet. And we're getting more evokers again. That's nice. And some money pouches, because we are poor from that base. And a tier two helmet. Dude, I literally only get low tiers now. And the final one. Let's go ahead and see what we get. Our final key of the episode. And we're getting a backpack. Please, 
I've needed a backpack. The backpacks are actually really good. Please be a decent tier. And it's tier one, dude. That is so trash. 